This specialized occupational health and safety training is for aligned professionals who may have to access an aircraft accident site as part of their work. This is the second training carried out this year as part of PNG Accident Investigation Commission Capacity Building Program for PNG Nationals. This training was funded by OSAID and facilitated by Australian Transport Safety Bureau. Chief Commissioner of PNG Accident Investigation Commission, Nemo Yellow, said aircraft accidents may contain all kinds of dangerous substances and it is important to have such training. Which will benefit us all as we fulfill our investigation and reporting obligations as signatories to the IKO. He said the objective of this training is to build an aircraft accident investigation and reporting capability in PNG that meets international standards. 16 participants, including three women from different aviation companies, including airline pilots, engineers, and safety officers attended this training. Training facilitator Dave Grimbewa said the training will increase the capacity to carry out on-site aircraft crash investigations. The participants will be able to uh, take on these concepts and apply them to any potential accidents that happen within Papua New Guinea. A female representative from Ali New Guinea Limited, Margaret Tuka, said this training has increased air understanding of safety management. But as time goes by, I'm sure you know, the trend of uh, accidents and investigations in Papua New Guinea. Quintana Lomp, National MTV News.